Yay! Hello! Hi guys! And welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, today I have a special guest with us, JD! <laughs> today I'm going to be sharing with us tips on what to buy. What are the essential things you need to buy for childbirth? Yes! The essential things you need to buy. I'm going to be sharing on the essential things you need to buy for your baby. Yay! <laughs> I'm of the opinion that if something is not necessary, don't buy it because you're trying to impress other people. Buy the things that are necessary for your child. Well, if you have the money to splurge, there are many children that are suffering in the world. You can help them, but buy the things that are necessary for your child. So I'm going to be going through the list of the things that I bought. Now, the very first thing I think you should buy for your child is a bath set. Either you're buying a bathtub set that comes with a bucket, um, a place where you keep the baby's toiletries and the bathing bowl. Because in Nigeria, we like to bathe our babies in the bathing bowl. Or you can buy the one that is put on the sink. And now I'm mean, getting the bath set for the baby. That also includes getting things like her sponge, her soap, her cream, lotion. I would advise you very specially to go with a nice lotion. Also, you're also going to get Vaseline or petroleum jelly. Coconut oil, if you like coconut oil, the smell of coconut oil for your child. Also get methylated spirit, which you're going to be using to clean some things in the baby's body. Maybe like the navel, if you want to use that. They don't even talk about using that these days. You're also going to get disinfectant, maybe salvon or detol that you're going to use in the water when bathing the baby to keep the baby crisp and clean. You're going to get um, baby hair oil, baby oil. Yeah, so you can use to oil the baby's hair and stop the baby from drying out. So those are the eight items that I think you should get that are going to be in your baby's box for bathing. You're so welcome. Please subscribe, like. Let's know you're here with us. <laughs> After we are done with the bath set, you're going to get into the clothing. Now, for the clothing of your baby, first and foremost, whether you like it or not, diapers are clothing. They're very important. Nowadays, you can't you can't you cannot be you as a mom without diapers. I use more fix for Jaden. You can use any other brand you like. Diapers are according to the ages of the baby. So you're going to buy the ones for the newborn and then graduate to the ones for three three kg to six kg. They are usually priced and grouped according to the weight of the child. After diapers, you're going to get onesies. Get sets of onesies, short sleeve onesies. We are in Africa, as so I'm talking from the African setting. Everywhere is hot. Maybe you don't need to over overdress your baby so your baby doesn't get really, really hot. So you're going to get onesies. I'm going to keep the picture right here. Everything I'm saying, I'm going to keep their pictures right here. So the onesies are going to some of them come in a pack of six, some come in a pack of threes. Make sure you buy UK UK ones because those ones are going to last. The set I bought for my son, he's still using them to today. Yes, I bought the one for zero to three months. I bought the one for three to six months, and I bought the one from six to nine months. So those ones is that come in packs that some of, most of them are pinups at the bottom, the short sleeve ones. Those are the ones that I got. So get your pack of ones is very very important. Another thing you should get are overalls. Overalls are the ones that have the long hands and are covered in the feet. I'm going to still put the picture right in here. So you're going to get your uh, overalls for the baby. Maybe uh, what I got was three for zero to three months white overalls, then three six to uh, uh, um, three to six months overalls, then six to nine months I got multicolored multicolor beautiful there are many beautiful overalls that you can see and when you're buying overalls for your child i would advise you to buy the ones that have zippers not the ones that have buttons or pin ups because in the night when you're changing your baby it's really difficult to start pinning up all the things baby will be crying but the zipper it just zip zoop and then baby's already in the overall babies wear overall most times to sleep you can also have overalls as stylish overalls that they can wear during the day they are good they are protective of the child they protect the child from cold and everything like that they're very important they're going to be a staple in your baby's wardrobe so get your overalls ones for sleeping the pajama kind overalls and also get the overalls that are going to be used for day use now when buying clothing so i advise you to buy little amount as possible buy like maybe seven to eight pieces of clothing at once because babies outgrow their clothes very fast now the newborn clothes are advised to buy just three 
of the newborn clothes you can recycle those newborn clothes because after a week or two the baby is going to outgrow those newborn clothes and begin to wear zero to three more clothing so when buying newborn clothing buy very few three pieces is enough caps baby caps come in packs of three or packs of six so buy at least one two packs so at least you can cover the baby's head at least in the newborn stage so that cold doesn't get into the baby's body through the head also get meetings my baby never used meetings but i would advise you to get meetings so it's avoid from scratching their hands scratching their faces and other parts of their body with their sharp fingernails also importantly get socks socks are very important for baby's feet so when you wear them their their clothes you know they need um, things to cover their feet their baby your baby is going to be wearing socks till at least his nine months after nine months baby st my baby still wears socks Jaden still wears socks. So you're going to get socks and you're going to get socks in the graduation of their ages. That means you're buying socks from newborn to socks to zero to three months, three to six months, and then six to nine months, and then nine months to a year. That's that's how their uh, clothing are graduated for children. Singlets for the babies, long sleeve onesies for the babies, for the baby, then short knickers, you know, trousers, if you want baby to be in trousers, knickers, trousers. And normal tops, you know, just few of those as you like to beautify baby. Also, get a dress for baby's naming, a special dress, a special cloth, a top. I had a boy, so top and trouser, or just a ceremonial dress for baby's naming or baby's dedication. So I think that is all for clothing. Also, when buying big things for baby, make sure you buy towels, two to three towels, you know, different towels, and then buy a lot, 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 and lots of washcloths. Those ones are very important. There's no how your baby's not going to use those things. Baby is gonna use those things. Now, guys, if you are here and you've not still subscribed and enjoying the video so far, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, comment, let me know other things that you bought for baby that I've not really mentioned thus far, so that we can know other people can learn from your comments. All right, moving right ahead. But at the point of which you are giving birth, you're going to know whether you want to be, do exclusive breastfeeding or you want to formula feed your baby. That's going to inform the next things I'm going to talk about, which is the feeding bottles. I got three feeding bottles for JJ, and I must tell you he used only one. And that one, he uses it to only drink water. And that was after he was six months because I breastfed exclusively for six months. So if you're going to be doing formula feeding, that automatically means you're going to have to get more feeding bottles and you're going to have a sterilizing unit to sterilize those feeding bottles. Sterilization is so important when it comes to baby things so they don't get contaminated in any way. So you sterilize your feeding bottles, get a sterilizing unit. I'm going to put the picture up there and then get... um feeding bottles i use tippy tommy tippy tommy is good avent is good those brands are good that pictures are out there so use those products for feeding baby also get a cup and a spoon uh for your baby because in the hospital they might decide to give baby food using a cup and a spoon instead of the syringe or even those first days the baby comes home you can want to use a cup and a spoon to give baby food when you've not started lactating than using a syringe so sterilizing units is very very important and then your feeding equipment very important now again i'm going to go into beddings now i got a baby coat but i have to tell you that the most pricey thing i bought the most everything i bought for my child was the baby coat i bought a grapple baby coat but my baby never slept in the baby coat up to today he has still not slept on the baby coat he sleeps on the normal bed so what i got in in addition to the um, baby cot is to get a Moses bed. The Moses bed, I'm going to leave a picture up here, stays on the bed with you so the baby can be in the Moses bed covered with a net while you sleep beside the baby. This is very easy when you need to breastfeed at night and every other thing that you need to do as a working mom or even if you're not a working mom, just for the ease of it. But after some time, please try and move your baby back to his baby cot so that he can learn to sleep on his court so getting a baby court and a moses bed the two of them so so very important so the baby can even sleep in the parlor when you're you guys are in your living room watching tv baby can be sleeping on the couch on the moses bed under close supervision moses courts go with very close supervision also another thing i'll say you should get is for your diaper set or how you set up your diaper area set it up in such a way that there is a um your nap nappies are there your wipes are there your change table is there and then even the foldable change cloth i put a picture of that up there that you can when you're going out changeable um, you, you spread the cloth so you can change your baby on that changeable uh, uh foldable and changeable baby cloth it just it's like a tarpaulin kind of thing I, I, um after you've gotten those things 
um you should also get bed sheets um wrap clothes for the baby wrap clothes bed sheets you just get those ones few so when baby's coming up from the hospital baby's going to be wrapped in the um swaddle clothing you can get two or three of those also and then uh that's already said wash clothes so those ones are extremely important now i'm going to go into shoes you can get at least one shoe two shoes because maybe i'll grow things easily but they're going to wear shoes by the time you get to three to six months then they're going to bring lots of shoes and all that so you can get that so those are basically the things that i got um that i used um I, i'm not going to be i live in a very busy street i'm not going to be strolling with my baby or uh, on the street so that's why i didn't buy a um a baby stroller even if i want to carry my, to carry my baby on my chest i walk on my streets because my street is very busy i'm not going to be strolling a baby on my street so i didn't buy a baby stroller but you can buy a baby stroller if you live in a very cool area where you want to go out and walk with your baby in the evening you can put the baby in the baby stroller and then go out with the baby very important again a car seat babies are going to be going for doctor's appointments you need a car seat as you haven't taken your baby back home get a nice car seat that is the size of the baby so that you can fit it in your car very very important purchase you can use the car seat for even when you're even taking the car baby to church you can carry the car seat you know carry the baby to church baby can still sleep you know in the car seat when baby is in church the car seat can double as a baby carrier and a car seat also you can get a, a front facing baby carrier where you can carry your baby to your chest if you if that is your thing baby carriers too are also very important and then of course you're going to buy flask for putting hot water flask for putting the baby's food if you're going to be making baby's food later on you need those two flasks and then a dedicated pot for cooking anything you want to cook for the baby you know you have to have that those are the main things that i got for my son and then get ceremonial and outing wears to be in a separate place and then get toys babies like toys get toys get beautiful things to dedicate to make your baby you know interesting so those are the basic things that i got i'm just trying to look around to see if i can see any other thing and yes very importantly breastfeeding pillow breastfeeding pillows are so important <laughs> get a very good breastfeeding pillow i was gifted a breastfeeding pillow i didn't know the importance of somebody gifted me the breastfeeding pillow oh god i'm so grateful to have for the pillow so the breastfeeding pillow helps your baby when you are breastfeeding to keep the baby in the right posture for the baby to suck it's a very important buy please buy a breastfeeding pillow every other thing apart from these things that i mentioned are luxuries it's if you want to they are not important your baby is going to move on fine if he doesn't have those things but they are very those ones i've mentioned very important you must buy them you must buy them <laughs> thank you guys again for joining me on my channel today i love you very specially for watching until i see you again have a lovely week